Welcome back, everybody. See if we can't get this little turtle knocked out. Now, I kind of mounted him on the bottom. I already cut the back lug off the back. This is the way we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to go with a little battery steel. And uh, we'll start out by cutting the plug off his neck. Take it off, start shaping it up underneath the bottom of his neck there. Kind of between his toes. There's a little bit of wood between his upper body there, I guess, and his shell in his, in his toes that need to come out. So here we are just drawing on the shell, which I would say uh, about 50-50, whether I uh, carve on the shell or not. A lot of times I just leave the shell like it is right off the machine. It's, it's in there enough that you can see it. And uh, if you stain it, if you use stain, we, we will be using stain on this one later, but it, it's not necessary to even carve on this shell. If you go in real shallow and give them a little more defining line, they show up better when you just burn them. Well, that was about it on the saw work. We got our eye tool out. Let's see if we can't pop in a couple of eyes in. And some nostrils. Shaping around his eyes a little bit with the, the eye tool. It's, you know, it's a cutter tool that works really good for uh, grinding V-cuts and stuff, giving them his mouth here. So that one tool is real versatile. It can be used for lots of different things. And working on a little bit of wrinkles around his neck there. Here we are to the nylon bristle brush again. And give him a wipe down before we cut him off the plug. always in the plug is always in the center of the carving pretty much it runs down the center because we carve them on the center line change all and cut him off the table before we burn him so we just kind of knocked him off the plug and we've uh, gonna clean up where the tail is at the back of the shell there then we're gonna put some fire on him. See if we can't get a little color. And we're about to get this turtle cooked. You know, he'll be done here in just a second, but you see, he's smoking. After we get him cooked up, we'll give him a brush down with that big soft bristle brush. When I burn, I do turtles a couple different ways. One way is I burn it really hard, and then kind of flap it out like we do in this one. The other way is I I just brush it out real lightly, and then I either stain in the shell back out or use color. And a lot of times I use, you know, the, the dyes and maybe make them a green or a brownish green color, and they look pretty good that way. But this one here, we just gonna stain when we get to the coloring part. I thought we'd kind of go over the stuff that we use basically on coloring our carvings here. Uh, our main things, I got some dyes here that I call, made by Mixall that you can mix with just about anything. Uh, I use basically water for the 90% of it. Uh, mix, you know, the dye with water. It's real easy to keep cleaning my airbrush and stuff. But what I probably use even more than the colors is 
uh, Men Wax Stain. I like Golden Oak. It's probably my favorite light color. And then I use Provincial and Black Walnut for my dark colors. Men Wax makes hundreds of different colors of stains, but I basically use two uh, for 90% of what I do. And as far as airbrush system, I got cheap Harbor Freight airbrush uh, stuff, or you can get them on eBay, 15 bucks or so for airbrush. And uh, that's about what we use for uh, coloring our carvings. Hope this helps. Okay, on this turtle here, we're gonna use our dark walnut stain. A lot of them we use uh, some green dyes, but this one we just laying down a little dark in the crevices of his shell and around his head and then back up give it a quick fog and uh, give it a flap sand at the end just so it'll highlight back out and uh, that'd be our turtle for today and I hope y'all enjoyed it catch you on the next one